you prefer the private hospital to the public hospital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, because uh, mm -hmm. before then, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I told you I have a family here. Uh -huh. You understand? I so understand. when my wife was pregnant, yeah. if you go to government hospital, mm -hmm. uh, this time maybe they are not trying. Okay, yeah. But it will take a lot. So that means you've been to the government hospital before. Yeah. When your wife was pregnant. Well, it's not for you. When my wife was pregnant, pregnant yeah. you understand? Yeah, understand? So there is a difference between the private, private. and the. So you are trying yes. to say the private, they do take care of you very well yeah. than the government. Yeah. Is it because you don't pay at the government hospital? Or? Not maybe because I don't pay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You understand? You know, like the, the, the government hospital, there's many people there yeah, because it's a free hospital. Yeah, of course. You understand? So yeah. there's a free. Sometimes before you go to the hospital, mm -hmm. there's a sickness that you will be. That is, you need to see doctor quick. Quick, I know. So you know that it's there's an a private emergency. Voila. I understand. So like the private, the private hospital, you mm -hmm. pay, yeah, and you see okay. the doctor in time. Okay, and then whatever your case is, will be what will be, yeah, will be attended to. So Friday, yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like I've mentioned your name over and over no again. No problem. But yeah. Friday, um, yeah. So you said rightly that your wife was sent to the public hospital before yeah so you had challenges yeah so you just made mention that the challenge was because you didn't get attended to as quickly as you had wanted yeah good i also want to know the reason why you also prefer the private hospital to the public hospital is it because you have financial problems uh, because to me i understand private hospitals to up okay yeah you know so like 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 private hospital mm -hmm. if if you go to a private hospital there's many people there. And secondly, sometimes they No, use you mean to say public hospital. Okay, it's okay, public, public sorry, hospital. public hospital. Yeah. Sometimes they use racist. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah, and so two again, sometimes yeah. they use like language barrier for you. Okay, so that means one, is it that you have problem with communicating, communicating with them. So private hospital, they do everything possible to overcome those kind of challenges for you to, you know, be of of you can be comfortable enough to you know to access yeah. their yeah. whatever they are providing you with their health yeah. system their health care yeah. so that means you either have um, discrimination problem at the public hospital yeah. that means they target people as immigrants, immigrants so much yeah. care is not taken to, like given yeah. to you yeah. to you guys mm. okay do you fear deportation is that one of the reasons why because i know a lot of people don't go to the public hospital because they are afraid that they don't have the papers necessary to stay in this country and yeah. they are of the fear that when they are exposed, they will be deported. Is it one of the reasons why you don't go to public hospital? Uh, let me flash, let me flash back. Back. Okay. When I was in Tanja, okay. uh, there was a there was a girl we lived together. Mm -hmm. So when the girl was, she was sick. Mm -hmm. So when she's sick now, but that time there's no paper, no have any paper that it's just anything that you are doing, you hide. Okay. So when the girl was sick now, so we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So we go to the pharmacy to buy drugs for her, but mm -hmm. didn't work. So they said they, the owner of the house said we should must take this girl to the, the hospital. hospital. Okay. So we now take her to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So when the girl got to the hospital, mm -hmm. do you believe that what really happened there? What happened? <laughs> when the girl got to the hospital, they uh -huh. did not give one police to be guiding the girl. That means... <laughs> because they know that she didn't have any paper. paper. They, after yeah. the treatment, they would deport her to... To mm -hmm. I'm talking about 2003. Then 2003 to 2004. Then, yeah, you understand. Uh, so when we saw that, mm -hmm. so the girl called, mm -hmm. said me, ah, he said me that they surprised that there's a uh, there's police mm -hmm. here. When asked what happened, he said they came to ask him where do you have paper. I said no, where's your passport? You don't have anything. Mm -hmm. So before you know what happened, they now bring one policeman to be mm -hmm. guiding guiding her. He said okay, no problem. Say now she now use use brain to ask. Mm -hmm. Why this policeman is here? Say mm -hmm. one person now told told her that uh, because you don't have paper. So after the uh, after your treatment, they will take you back. I see. You understand? It's okay. She's she not say okay, no problem. Okay. So it's because she's a girl, he said no problem. So mm -hmm. after then the policeman also get the guy. The, even there was he said there was even a drip for her body with and, her. And she has to run away. And she had to run away because she don't want them to deport her to wish that. Oh, I see. So from there we now learn so okay, there's problem there. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't go so to you didn't go to hospital. that time I've, I've not got married yeah so when i got married mm -hmm. so if my wife when my wife just say pregnant too much you have to go to check up mm -hmm. so if she got there sometimes people will come and meet her there mm -hmm. so then we use language you understand? Yeah, understand they will use language to bring her so if we come and tell the same because she speak english yeah. say no she will just tell the the the, the person at the door saying this woman came to meet me here. Mm -hmm. He will say, okay, don't worry. If you reach your time, we'll call you. Oh, wow. Because of that now. So, you know, 
going to the public so hospital. So go to the public hospital and say, okay, no problem. Yeah. So when she comes, she told me, say, me, the way they treat her in public hospital, I say, don't worry. I said, don't worry, no, I, will, I will follow you. Okay. That time I still understand so small no, French language yeah, little yeah, them. Yeah. When I go, the same thing. So I said, man, if I want to talk, they will tell me, say, no, wait, 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 wait. Mm. You understand? So sometimes, if, let me say, for example, my wife will be number five or number six. Yeah. You understand? understand? So if they just come, you see some people just come, ah, ah, she's pretending. <laughs> yeah, I know. So they will say, okay, enter, enter, enter. Okay. You know? I know. I so know. because of that, say, okay, no problem. So that will be a language problem. But now looking at how difficult it is to get papers okay yeah. and having the fears of you getting deported yeah. how because you must definitely get access to good health how do you do that then mm -hmm. uh, then when uh, then there was not any way to go to the hospital yeah mm -hmm. you understand but even, definitely you have to yeah, go. you have to go to hospital uh -huh. even when if you are sick mm -hmm. sometimes you beg some some like your 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 friend, like some Moroccan person you know, mm -hmm. you beg it, please let me go to pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you go to pharmacy to go and buy drugs, they will not sell for you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you to go and buy doctor prescription. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that's how you understand. Yeah. So but if you send some their cit their citizen here, mm -hmm. you're telling to help you buy some drugs, make sure like he will go and buy it for you. Mm -hmm. But if you can't you have to give him money. You have to settle him. You understand? Even them, even though if you want to go market, you cannot go to market. If you go to market, police must catch them or deport you. Yeah. So we have to look for women that have that pregnant, a pregnant? or that uh, pregnant woman yeah. or like the woman that have baby. Yeah. Who, so, who is also an immigrant? Like, do, yes. Yeah, yeah. So she is the person that you have to send to mm -hmm. beg to mm -hmm. help you to go and buy food stuff. Then if, like, if you are sick now, mm -hmm. you don't have paper. You cannot go to the hospital. I see. So when we are when we were living there, we live in live in a bush. Mm -hmm. That is a aspect of the city. Of course, definitely. That where the immigrant live. And that's where no police. No police will come there. Yeah. Sometimes there is a police will come and raid. Yeah, okay. Then we burn our tents. They will still catch some people, deport them to wish that. that. But you must still come back. Of course, definitely. Maybe yeah. sometimes we spend like a month. Depends on you. Mm -hmm. If you have money, you can come in time. If you don't have money, you can yeah. spend one month, two months before, before you come. You come so you have to trek. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, so when, like, a person is sick now, when this organization came, they mm -hmm. called them, uh, uh, but we didn't know their name that time. Mm -hmm. But last, we now hear about Caritas. But there was organization they called them that time. Bacaritas. No, be, no, I, I forgot the yeah, name. Yeah. But last, we now know that they say it's Caritas. Mm -hmm. But there's a name we know them that time. Okay. I, I, I think it's a hidden because they don't want to expose themselves. I, I, I have their people, I have their card there, okay. but I didn't know where I keep the card now. Okay. I'm talking about 2003, 2004. It's a very long it's time. It's a very because, long time. Yeah. You understand? Uh -huh. So, people that live in the bush that time, so this organization that came mm -hmm. to Morocco, okay. as they would like to know how the immigrants are living in this country, okay. so they now heard that uh, there's so there immigrant people living in the in bush. The bush. Yeah. They say, ah! <laughs> no way. Bush! So they now traced us to the bush. Okay. So that is how they know that that people is living in the bush there. Okay. So if anybody is sick now, mm -hmm. so they will come mm -hmm. with their major emergency uh, uh, van, uh, van oh, yeah. to come and take the person to the hospital. Yeah, hospital. So that is how even okay. some women that have uh, that are pregnant mm -hmm. want to deliver. They are the ones that take the women from the bush mm -hmm. to hospital to deliver. So in the hospital. you guys need to call them for them to come. Yes, now. Oh, wow. And how long does it take for them to come? Is that uh, very long? Or? No, it's not too. It's not yeah, too long. Yeah. So that means the advantage points. The advantage points. Yeah. So when you need them, you when you need them. them at any time. That even though they always come check on us every day. Okay, but Friday definitely yeah. you don't have to stay in the bush. You have to also come to the city and then have access to the things that people are having. So definitely you need papers. How easy do you get papers? American paper. And no, the Moroccan paper. paper. Yeah. No, that's the, why the court says you right. Yeah, yeah you. So how? Easy no, you know, after then, mm -hmm. uh, I may God uh, may the king live long. Okay. They say Muhammad said me he live long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after some time, you know that years we are talking about now is is long time ago. Yeah. So after the, some years now, it's now like it's free the immigrant. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So some some people now came to. This. Cities. to the city to rent a house mm -hmm. you understand to rent a house sometimes you see a good a good a moroccan person yeah. that see have the feelings yeah. then but if you leave the house maybe like four five people or ten people in the house you will tell only one person to be going out mm. one person one should... person how one person okay is the only person that will be going to the market to buy this to food buy stuff. buy two stuff if you want to buy anything mm -hmm. you can go to go and buy okay. and it's not every day 
that so one is scheduled. Uh, time based. It's, it's time based. Yeah. <laughs> so that is where people. Then before then there was uh, a hotel mm -hmm. in Tanja. Mm -hmm. Even when we are living in the hotel, we don't have paper. Mm -hmm, definitely. But yeah. you pay every day. There's some hotel you pay like twenty five dirham every day. Some you pay thirty dirham every day. So the day you don't have money to pay in your hotel, so you go and look for where to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because the owner of the hotel must come. Yeah. So you have a list. Yeah. And if you've not paid, they will take yeah. your name of the list. Take your name of the list. Things. Have money to pay. Okay. So when the 2014, where their father announced the so he want to give immigrant a resident here. Yeah. So everybody was happy. Oh good. So but it's not yes. it was not easy to get. <laughs> Definitely. Because he have something they request for. Oh, yeah, so if you yeah. don't have all those things, you don't have resident. So those time, all those things he requests for, I've spent a long time here. Mm -hmm. So I have a paper that I will used to say yes sir. I have a proof yeah. that I've spent in more than five years. Mm -hmm. Because you write in you say, but if you know that you have been in this country mm -hmm. more than like more than five years, yeah. So you bring the proof, they will give you a resident. Yeah. So that okay. you are, that is how we have get our resident. Yeah. For the first time. For the first time. Yeah, okay. Because I have a proof. To, that you've been here for five years yes more than five years more precisely. than five years yeah. so that means that afterwards you need to go and um you know because i know the card is given to you it's not given to you as um um uh, as a person of the land it's given to you as a citizen as a citizen uh, yes. uh, not like as a as someone who have migrated to their land yeah. and so you have to renew it yeah. so how easy is that as president now, yeah, we didn't renew it now. Yeah, no, before seven. before it was very easy to renew. It so it was giving us one one year. Yeah, okay. So that one year, if you want to renew, you be you bring your house contract. Yeah, okay. You bring your passport. Okay, the necessary documents. The necessary needed. documents. You bring your passport. You bring your your resident. Mm. You bring your hospital. And everything. everything. So as at now, no. too, is the same thing. No, 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 no. It's not the same thing now. <laughs> Things have changed. Even as I'm talking to you now, my wife has expired. To renew oh. is the problem now. Yeah, I know. I know. Because uh, then, then there is easy. Mm -hmm. You can just go to meet your landlord mm -hmm. to give you a house contract. Then give you the the, the, the light paper, mm -hmm. which is uh, the water paper and the light paper. Mm -hmm. You put it with your this thing. You then renew. You present. You present the gift. But now, yeah, what they request for you now? Mm -hmm. Like many people are arrested that expire more than one year now. Oh, they are I not renew it. Yeah. Then that makes you an illegal person in that yeah. country. Yeah. Because the thing is not like that before. When this COVID nineteen. Came. which is his last year mm -hmm. this is not the uh, last year match yeah it was his last year yeah. match they change the system. the system okay now they try to go and bring working paper mm -hmm. we immigrants don't work here definitely they will try to go and bring a, a statement of account mm -hmm. to show that you are saving here you are saving here yeah it's very difficult for to us get to, to get all those things mm. then now there's a one that very difficult here they say cnss <laughs> That's the NSS to show that you are paying tax. Oh, okay. That you are a um, taxpayer. You are taxpayer. And there's many people working here. Even the, 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 the boss that he works with, he the don't, he, he, the, they don't, he pay don't he, they do not pay tax. So you cannot eat that not pay tax. tax. How, How do you, you expect to pay, yeah. to pay tax? Yeah. So tell me, so that means if you are working under your boss, it's your boss that's supposed to pay the tax for you. For, for, and then at the end of the day, the tax papers will be given to you as the workers for you to show that the company at which you work, you, know, you guys pay tax. Yes. Which your boss does not have. It's not even the box. Because if, for example, now, Mm -hmm. Like you now, for example, now okay. you, you are working okay. or you have a place that people, you have a workers. Yeah, employer. Then you are paying tax because if you have a working or you have a small company here, you mm -hmm. must pay tax to the Morocco government. Of course. So now you are paying tax. Mm -hmm. Like we, your workers now, uh -huh. you didn't give us the tax paper. Uh -huh. So how are we going to get it? Oh, okay. Because now, for example, now you are paying me like 3,000 dollars a month. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, then now you are paying tax. Maybe inside the 3,000 dollars you are paying me now. Maybe Mazi Mona, the Morocco people would need the like, like, 600 dirham a month mm -hmm. for my salary. Yeah, okay. They automatically I would not receive 2,400. Yeah. I go, well, I'm not going to live with 2,400. Yeah, Maybe from that point, I pay like uh, 1,500. No, I, from me, you, I understand your company is the one that is supposed to be paying the tax, not you, mm -hmm. the employer. It's you. Because, listen, yeah. I want to make you understand mm -hmm. what the CNSS mean. means. Yeah, okay. For example, now, if the company is paying tax, mm -hmm. you don't have problem with the Morocco government. But you as the individual, you are the in individual, mm -hmm. like now, I want to renew my residence. Okay. So the more request for since you are working. So okay, can't you your, get the one that your company used to pay? Is it your name inside? <laughs> no, I understand. Uh -huh. I understand. That is the problem we have. Now, that's why most of us that still have some jobs sometimes, sometimes the Moroccan person you work with, you give us, okay, Friday you are working with me now. Mm 
Okay. You will you write it now. Friday, you are working with me now. Then we take it to the Mukata, legalize it, okay. give it to you. Okay. But if you present it in the in, it's, it's in not the legible, it's then not, we say yeah. no. Yeah. As far as you are working, so they need tax okay. from you. So you cannot be receiving money. Just take it like that. Yeah. So the Morocco, the Morocco yeah. government is not get anything, anything from, you. from you, and they have they give you residence. Okay, Friday. Finally, I will also want to know the work you do. Does it expose you to any health problems? The work you do as no, 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 no. So the immigrants, the work they do, as you have realized, it doesn't. You know, expose them to any kind of sickness. Now I'm talking about myself. <laughs> okay, you can't talk about they call, uh, like many people yeah. that work in mm. here. It will lead them to get to their to their bad head. Okay, I because understand. like we immigrants here, mm -hmm. uh, sorry to say this. Uh, uh -huh. I maybe it's not the part of the question you asked me. Okay, but because you can I, I can say this. Yeah, you want to know? You want to know because I believe people can still use this opportunity to help the immigrant here. Yeah. You understand, yeah. but with the immigrant here, mm -hmm. before we are suffering, yeah. but now is the suffering is just is more than is less. Yeah, okay, okay. Because the, the, reduced the yeah, since the since the king that announced that gotcha. they should give us residence, okay. So all those things is not more difficult. Yeah, definitely, for us to you can now go out free. But they have that racist heart as 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 as, as Arab. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, I understand you. So let's wrap it up very quickly. So I would like to know: Do you regret coming to Morocco? <laughs> now that's a tough one to answer. Uh, yeah, but, from your but, point of view. But then, yeah, then I'm not regret mm -hmm. because if I said I'm regretting, mm -hmm. I could have stayed in my country. Yeah, anything that I see, I will manage it. Yeah, but then before I left my country, no, you mean to say you would have stayed in your country? Anything that your country provides you you would have just used it yeah. like that manager yes. yeah but me that make up my mind that i want to leave my country to go to europe There's so no if i said i'm regretting that guys i don't know what i'm saying uh, if yes. maybe for example that the first time i came to this country when i tried to cross if maybe i made it yeah uh, maybe if maybe i made it mm -hmm. i was okay ah yeah man i'm not in. you understand okay, yeah, yeah, but since i didn't made it first of all my life i have to give thanks to god yeah I've married. Mm -hmm. I have married. I have two, two beautiful children, children here mm -hmm. with your wife. Yeah. So I give thanks to God. Yeah. But if he, the question you ask me that, whether <laughs> I'm regretting it to come to Morocco, for me, I'm not regretting it. Okay. I'm not regretting it. Okay. Because, uh, my brother, I have to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. God is, God is keeping, God that keep me alive in today. To, to, to get into Morocco. Because most of uh, my friends now, we mm -hmm. live, live Nigeria together. Some, yeah. they are no more today. Some That's some exactly. some cross to Europe. Some they live in Europe. Okay. They have house in they built house in Nigeria. Wow. But they died in Europe. But they are no more today. You understand? Yeah. But me and alive today. First of all, I have to give thanks to God. Yeah. I'm okay. alive. But sometimes mm -hmm. it will pains me that I'm still in Morocco. <laughs> sometimes I'll say, ah, thank God. Yeah, thank God. I'm still alive mm. because I know there's more life. So live. that means you somehow regret. Um, you didn't say somehow. No, I didn't say somehow regret. So you don't regret at all? I don't regret. Good. I don't Good. regret. Good. 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 You understand? That means, like you said early on, life over here is far, far better than life in, Morocco, in, in, Nigeria. in Nigeria. So yeah, I understand. Yeah. So what advice do you want to give to those who, like, they are trying to come or they are trying to go to Europe? What advice can you give them? As you have passed through whatever... They are uh, willing to pass through to get to Europe. Okay. Yeah. You can talk to the camera. They are okay. the people listening to you. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. You are watching me from mm -hmm. this place. But I advise to, the, to my brothers, my sister in, in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, if you said you are going to Europe, uh -huh. I advise you not to take the land. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, I prefer to take the flight. Yeah. But you know, sometimes most of our family or our, yes, most of our family up in Europe, mm -hmm. they will say they would come and take you from Nigeria or from anywhere, yeah. in any country in Africa. Yeah. Then we'll be take, don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then you say, ah, this thing is a long time. <laughs> so I want to go to Europe. Yeah. Let me use myself to make an example. Yeah, okay. Before I left my country to, to Morocco, I'm living now, I'm yeah. in Morocco. Yeah. But I have a uncle, I have a auntie that live in Europe. Mm -hmm. Every year they will say Friday, don't worry. Hey. I will I will come and carry you. That is you will come and take me to Europe. Okay. One year, two years, even some start washing their car, mm -hmm. start doing different type of things because mm -hmm. of 
to make her happy, to make him happy, to take me to Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I will leave my house to go to his mother's house to go and walk. Do you understand? That is, uh, if his mother call him or her, say, ah, Friday come here today, go say yes, so he do this one, he help me to do this, he help me to tear firewood, okay. the other time he help me to go and fresh water, okay. he help me to go to tap to do this one, he help me to wash some clothes, I because see. of to bring myself down to see the help yeah. from my uh, uncle, uncle and my auntie, sisters, yeah, my auntie yeah. and me, you understand? Up and up, every year. Then we even come from Europe to Nigeria, uh, we say, okay, Friday, don't worry. So if I go, back. if I want to go back, I will take you. This is yeah. go and take go and take your passport photograph. I will take all those times yours to use you to calm you down. You understand? Mm -hmm. They will not help you. Mm -hmm. So when I see all those things and I look my 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 family background, I look my mother, my father, I say, man, yes, you understand? The second child, I say, ah, no, I can't stay. My father and my mother will be suffering all those yeah, kind of things. Right. Since my brothers, they take this to Morocco to Europe. <laughs> My friends, they take it on six months. They will call and be in mm. Spain. I be in Greece. I bring this one. Ah, since they take it, they take the route. I oh, yeah, myself, I will take, take it. it. That's why I take the route. But today, since 2001, I left my family and be in Morocco. So my brothers and my sisters, they I know that they say every head is not the same. Yeah. And, but for me, uh, for me as president, I'm not advise anybody to take the land now. Says you want to take the land to Europe. Even we are in Morocco. Yeah, Morocco even the Morocco side even better than the Libya side that people is taking. You know how many souls are dying in Libya? You understand? So please, if you are going to Europe, if you don't have money to take the visa from Nigeria, even now, say, even the money to take visa in Nigeria, you can use it to start business. The money you used to take the visa, or, you, know, you can use it to start one business there. You understand? Because like me, the money I, like me, let me all tell you the truth. When I left Nigeria, if I told the money that I have, it would never take me from, uh, from Nigeria to Algeria money that I have in my pocket said I want to go to Libya and I go to yeah, Spain yeah. because I have one faith that I, I must cross yeah. I must go as my friend they say this one say have so 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 much like this this one say have a uh, 60 something thousand era this one say have 80 something thousand era money that I have you only take me from Nigeria to Niger God know the truth I'm saying now, as I'm saying now but what happened but when I got to Algeria we try 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 there was a good, you know that there is a place God that said, my son, this place, don't worry, I will bless you for that. You understand? I was in a place they call uh, in, 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 in Niger. Uh, you understand me? So, in, in Niger, I got this. There's a place they call uh, Sahara Hotel. That is the place I saw person that still support me with yeah. small things. Okay. That used to support me to go to, to Algeria. Algeria. When I reach Algeria, I still try doing one, two things. But my friend, my sister, my brother, please, for me, I'm not advising you. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't advise you to take the land to Europe. Please. Okay. Thank you. So Friday, thank you very much for coming. I know You're it welcome. was a very tough one. I know, I know. Um, I didn't even tell you earlier before, you know, meeting you, but you went through a lot to get here. And I thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. I thank you very You're much. Welcome. You, you heard a lot from... Um, Friday, he said a lot of things, and then he even advised the youth that are, you know, passing through a whole lot of things to pass by land to get to Europe and everything. You heard it all. Once again, I would want you guys to advise to the channel. Don't forget to like the video and also follow me on social media because there are a whole lot of things that are coming in this space. So just watch out for them in this space. Thank you very much for having time with me, and see you guys in the next one. Thank you again, Friday, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.